You gotta wake up people and you know, we have to put an end to this. That was the message echoed by nearly everyone who spoke at a special meeting about hydrofracking at Onondaga Town Hall. The meeting gave neighbors a chance to voice their opinions about allowing fracking in the town. Only one who spoke did not see a problem with fracking. How do they know? I have never read a report that hydrofracking has done anything that's harming people. Others saw it differently. I think we're jeopardizing our health if we um, allow fracking to go through because there's too many carcinogenic chemicals that are used. It's emitted into the air. What kind of legacy are we leaving for our children and our grandchildren? Where are they going to live? When the gas runs out, then what are we going to do? The town of Onondaga still has time to decide if they will ban hydrofracking. Council members will make a final decision one way or the other on December 3rd. The council says hearing from the public is an important piece of the puzzle. The decision that is made will impact this community for many, many years. And I think it's very important when you do something that you do this and give the residents their voice. The council is accepting written documents about the issue for the next 30 days. They will take everything into consideration before announcing their decision on December 3rd. Reporting from Onondaga, I'm Katie Corrado.